Hey there guys, it's Lucy here. I have just got back home after having gone to the Whitechapel Mission, uh, which is an amazing uh, kitchen, shower facility um, for hundreds and hundreds of homeless people and people who are in need of a, of a cheap meal in central London. So I just wanted to get on here. As you can see, I'm all puffy eyed. I've been bawling my eyes out because what I experienced this morning, what I saw, what I witnessed was so humbling and so moving. You know, I'm, I'm sure you'd all agree that people who are in a situation of homelessness or sleeping rough, they're not all the same. They don't all have the same situation and Sure, yes, sometimes you meet people who are, um, you know, very angry, very rude, uh, going through a lot mentally, um, vibrating at a very low frequency, and maybe their, their attitude towards life, their lack of gratitude has sort of contributed to their, to their situation. But, but on the other hand, for anyone who was a bit rude or in a negative place, there were three others who were unbelievably polite, jolly, happy, smiley, grateful, just glad, just just thankful that they had somewhere on a rainy morning at six or seven in the morning, they had somewhere to come. They had somewhere dry to sit to snooze at the table for a few hours, a hot drink in their hands, you know, pr practically bottomless food. And there were so many characters. There's so many people where I just got a glimpse. I just got the tiniest little glimpse of what they're, what they're going through. People were, you know, polite, well-spoken, elderly people who, you know, they were so polite, <laughs> so sweet, so innocent. And I just, I, I just felt for them so much. They were in such a potentially dangerous place that they were potentially having to find somewhere to sleep when it's practically, you know, zero degrees centigrade and raining constantly. I just wanted to come on here and share some of these experiences that I saw today. You know, people, to put things into perspective, there's one elderly lady, she must have been about 75. She was one of the only women there because apparently they have a separate uh, time and location for for female uh, for females who are homeless or for uh, females or males who might want extra protection. So, um, but there was one female, 75 years old, and she was a prostitute. I One of the staff told us, because they know a lot of the regulars very well, and she even, you know, does things for the guys literally right there under the table and stuff for some extra money to buy some food. Goodness knows how many decades she's been living that life. Lovely, lovely lady, so sweet, so polite. But I just thought, I don't know if she has any family, but she could be someone's grandma, you know? There were people my parents' age, in their 50s and their 60s, struggling to to even collect 15 pence. And there were people in their 20s and 30s. There were people who have clearly escaped a terrible life in their, in their native country and they've, they're just doing whatever they can. They've run away from goodness knows what. They've potentially lost their families. Maybe they, you know, they've been come out of a war zone. Maybe they lost everyone and everything. Maybe they had a successful life at one point. 
and now they're there at six in the morning, seven in the morning, unclean, empty stomach, queuing up to get food. Now, if you're watching this and you've you've got a home and there's some food in your fridge and you have warm water coming out of your of your taps and you've got more than one set of clothing and you can even if you worry about money sometimes or you wish that you had more you know that you're always going to have enough and you have you can pay your rent and you can go to the shop and you can buy a razor you can buy sanitary products let alone buying you know beautiful makeup or designer clothing you know if you can if you can do those things then I just wanted to come on here and help you because sometimes we all need a something to shift our perspective we often we know that it's important to be grateful for what we've got but sometimes it can be difficult to find that gratitude Except for when you see a shift in perspective, you see, oh, wow, the contrast of what it could be like for you at this moment. And I encourage you, whatever you have, practice being grateful for all of it today. Sometimes it feels a little bit silly to be grateful for hot water coming out of your tap or for the food in your fridge, but not on a day when you've seen what I've seen it's 100% important to be grateful for those things that we could so easily take for granted. Ah, So I just wanted to come on here and share that rawness with you all. I love you. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this message with anybody who either would appreciate it or who you would like to help them offer them a different perspective if they're struggling to find things to be grateful for at the moment or if they're feeling overwhelmed with all of the relatively unimportant things that they're worrying about if you found this valuable give it a like remember to subscribe and i'll be on here soon for another video Mwah! love you